Hey folks, this is Jonathan. I uh, want to show you a little project I've been working on. This is actually a Hobart, uh, not Hobart, but Hobart uh, water pump and converted to a steam engine. And I've had this for quite a while, but I wanted to uh, see if I could get it to run an alternator. And uh, I had belted it one time to a serpentine belt alternator and it seemed to turn it fine but I, I really never tried to uh, you know to, to run one when it was charging and uh, so I figured I'd try that but uh, this is it's a double compound it's, it's just a simple you know simple setup it's I actually got a uh, piece of oak wood in there that slides back and forth and concaved in the bottom to cover the valves you know to to do the slide valve and uh, works pretty good I'm gonna let you see it run here real quick before I hook up that alternator and uh, I'm running of course I'm running it on air I don't know how it would do on steam this has never been run on steam before but I'll start her up here and let you see and uh, of course that's turning slow let's see if I can get to where you can see the air pressure So that's about 10 pounds. I think we increase it. 30 pounds. That's about 40. So it runs pretty good. But it's sort of a failure what I wanted to try to do here. Uh, it turns the alternator, but of course when it when you excite the alternator to make it charge it it sort of stops it so it's not enough power and I can't remember what the bore is on this. It's probably somewhere around an inch and uh, about an inch and three quarter stroke I think. So I mean it's not a big engine and I'm sure it's not nearly as efficient as it should be. And uh I'll show you what we've got here. Just a you know, simple setup, it's nothing complicated, no reverser. And uh, you can see the, the hoe mark there. I think that was sold by, I think it was Sears and Roebuck if I remember right. Uh, I wanna, I'm gonna belt it up and I'm gonna show you what it's doing. I've got a battery charger hooked up here, it's not on charge. So it's just, uh, it's just on voltage and uh, you see that battery's at 12.4 volts right now, so it's not dead. So uh, if I was trying it with a dead battery, I, I'm sure I would have a problem. But uh, we'll get it belted up here, and I'll try to show you here. I don't have everything mounted good, so it's going to take about four arms, and I've only got two. But we'll see what we can figure out. Okay, you can see what it does there when I, as soon as I touch the wires on it, it excited it, just slows it down. When it does keep running, it just, uh, it don't have enough power to, to maintain the speed it needs to charge. So the battery charger actually drops down a, about 2.2 2 volts. And uh, so the bottom line is it's just not enough power. I don't think going with a smaller pulley would help me none. Uh, I actually had a bigger one on it and tried it with it and it was even worse and uh, I don't think if I put a smaller pulley on I could get it to spin the, the alternator as fast as I need it to spin but but uh, so it's not good for that I don't know what it would be good for but and I'm not sure how many amp this alternator is I know it charges uh, looks like it's a 70 I think it's 70 amp and you know it might would charge on a little 30 or 35 but we uh, we just wanted to test it, but 
I've got another pump there that is a Happy Myers and uh, which is a pretty common pump and uh, it's a lot harder to change this one over to a uh, to a steam engine but it is a bigger bore longer stroke and uh, we're gonna do some videos on that I've figured out how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna have to machine the top of the of the cylinder off and do some changing to do the slide valve and I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit more efficient slide valve on it and we're gonna see if it will charge this old motor but uh, and uh, that'll be within a, a, a few weeks here we'll we'll get on that and uh, just wanted to show you this one and uh, and when we do the other one you'll you'll understand more about how how it works I mean they're really simple and uh, I mean you can get into more complicated stuff with a reverser and stuff like that but we're gonna we'll just keep it nice and simple and uh, I'm going to fire it up one more time here without the belt and, and let you see it run here. Put the regulator back. I don't want this thing runs pretty fast if you don't put too much to it. And, uh, but it's nice to, to run it and just watch it. You can make it run pretty slow. And I'm not interested in uh, going off the grid or anything like that. I'm just, and I'm not as interested in making it as a charge just to just to see if I can do it, not necessarily to use it for anything. But. Anyway. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and see one made. This is, like I said, this one. This one's not the most efficient. It was just a quick throw together. So. Bye.